Hello, this is going to be a unboxing video for a Saal photo book professional line photo book. Just like everyone else, I'm in lockdown and I'm trying to think of things to do, think, uh, productive things to do and trying to project forward to where my business might be. It's essentially what the uh, coronavirus is going to mean for my business and for other businesses because as an independent video maker and photographer, I not only rely on myself to make money, I rely on other companies, other small businesses wanting to get promotional work done to, uh, to give me paid work. For a long time I've been thinking uh, how I can leverage the skills that I've built uh, and the talent that I seem to have, I'm not, I don't think I'm bigging myself up too much, you know, it's not a massive talent, but you know, uh, an ability that I have with uh, lingerie, boudoir and art nude photography. And one of the things I thought of is um, uh, personal training clients and people like that who have done something or they've reached a milestone in their life and they want to record the way that they look now for whatever reason which records them in a way that they can look back on and feel good about themselves but one of the things that you would uh, sell to clients in that is a photo book so kind of what Saal Digital they're a company in Germany so they're kind of they're in similar lockdown situation to us but actually, the book was printed, delivered, and uh, arrived on the Friday. So ordered on the Monday, delivered on the Friday. So uh, what I've got here and, um, is, and what you can see here is the tripod, because I'm recording it from, from above as well, I think, yeah, and from the side. Um, so what I got is a uh, 40, uh, by 40 by 30 centimeter, so it's a landscape format book, um, and it's all photography taken in my own house. So the purpose of that is that I'm uh, to illustrate to potential clients that you don't need like a massive country house to make it uh, make uh, things look good. You just need to know how to use the space. I was thinking, I've never seen my lingerie, boudoir, and art nude photography in print ever. Box. Because this is lingerie, boudoir and art nude, I can show some of these photos, but not all of them, but I'm pretty sure I can show the front cover. So it's got a little, it's got a sticker on the front, but it's also got um, like a plastic sheet, so I could pull that off and it'll take the, the label off. I actually don't need to do that at the moment, so I won't bother. It's certainly glossy. So this, this photo here is um, Astrid Taylor. She's uh, lying on top of the, uh, this table that I'm using here, but when it was in front of uh, the big bifolds that I've got with the blinds coming down, I use the blinds quite a lot. Um, but this is, after all, this is intended for clients to to hold on to, to kind of to have for themselves. So it's kind of it's it's meant for for touching. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I was I was kind of expecting a big block of plastic on the front, but it, no, it makes sense that kind of there's a bit of acrylic going around the front cover. So this is the first. Uh colour photo that I've come across, which looks really good. So it's Alexandra McHugh, both in colour and in black and white on my sofa. I'm not so much looking at what the model looks like, because the models always look great. There's a certain element of me looking at my own retouching, um, and also the colour rendition. So I don't have a, a, a calibrated monitor, mainly because I have two monitors, and one of them's very cheap, and one of them's quite expensive. I use them as a sort of a variance, if you like, because all mobile screens, most people look at their stuff on mobile screens and on laptop screens, and they vary wildly in quality and sort of uh, display type. So I don't worry too much about um, calibration, to be honest. I just kind of think, well, what might the client see? So I've chosen something which is quite moody and quite sexy and also quite kind of personal and friendly. The point I'm getting at with boudoir photography is that sometimes it will be shot in my own home, but quite often it will be shot in the client's home. And you, as a photographer, you have to find the bits that look good. Um, and so what I've done here is I've tried to make a point of um, there, is, there are little pockets in your house, or there will be little pockets in everyone's house that look good and look different at different uh, particular times of the day. So what I've got here is a shot of the same corner of my house, which is my kitchen. It's just over there. Um, but it's a different model, black and white and colour, 
um, and kind of both both lingerie, but kind of making the, the room look different. So they're kind of shot at different times of the day. I've got a lot of refraction going on here because I've got um, a glass door open, whereas I don't have that here. I think glossy is the way to go for this sort of photography. Perhaps I should have warned you about this. So the next page is, uh, I've got a bit of art nude. So this is my friend, um, Rose Finch Girl. This is Eliza Watson. Uh, and this is obviously an art nude uh, taken from top down on this floor, uh, just just over here. What's quite nice is the pages are, the pages are thick, so I don't feel like I'm going to rip these. I'm always wondering, you know, is it going to delaminate and is it going to fall apart? But I, th I think this is this is fine. I found that quite a lot of my photography is portrait or roughly portrait orientation so I had to do quite a few of these where I just put white borders on the sides but I actually I actually quite like that effect I think it gives a, a an airy note to the to the photography but also having the images that are full bleed is that the right term I don't know works well okay so this is Elbeth she's like a classical art nude model what I'm looking for here is that these images were quite dark and so I'm trying to see if the detail of her hair comes through and it kind of does. This one's a little bit dark. This model's name is Maya, Maya Kipping. What's, what's a really difficult ask for this from a printing perspective is so there's a lot of shadow here. So kind of you can see her, her hair, her afro, but also on the print, which is great, you can see everything in the shadows but only just so you can see that she has a tattoo on her on her wrist on her wrist on her ankle you can see a slight shine from a ring that she's wearing you can see the shape of her body you can tell that she's wearing lingerie but you can't see much much else so back to Elbeth but again I'm just illustrating I'm trying to illustrate both the book as a sales item my skill as a photographer and the possibilities for what the person might look like I used um, the Kamee the first blooms of the Archimelia bush in the uh, shrub, tree, whatever, in the garden um, la um, last month when um, Emma Charlotte was here and we, and we did this. I also wanted to see what the book looked like when you don't have an image that's full bleed but it is, but it is uh, double page so I just left this, this is where the image stops so I just left it, just left it there. I'm very satisfied with the, the print quality at the moment. I can see a point of weakness here. So this is, this is not Sal's fault. This is just, I did wonder about the acrylic because it's obviously a hard thing and the edges, of, the edges of acrylic are plastic and so they can go a bit white when they're kind of broken. And I'm not sure that's the best thing. And actually, one of the things I wondered about a book for clients is would they want to be able for it to be seen um, without opening the book? And I'm not sure they would. I think they'd want something a bit more private. Um, but for the for the purposes of display, I wanted to have something on the front so that I could show someone what the book is uh, before they know it. This is quite interesting. That the the, uh, the critics very sticky. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be wipe. I think I'm going to need a cloth just kind of to wipe that down. So let me, let me know what you think. Um, I think from my, my, my first impressions of, of the book is that I really like the print quality. I like the size, I think that works well. Um, and the, the prints do work very well. I'm not sold on this cover. I don't think it serves the purpose that, well, it serves the purpose I need, but it doesn't serve the purpose of uh, showing off the book to a client because I just don't think they're gonna do this, this glossy effect. But um, you know, it's the choice that I made and the, I could do with another one of these books actually to sort of show the, show the other options. Um, but um, let me know what you think uh, of the photography and also of the, of the book if you've got one of these and let me know in the comments whether um, you like it or not and also if there are any other book manufacturers any other book printers that you're aware of uh, that uh, I could try and um, I'm sure they'll all be offering offers in this uh, difficult time and uh, it's worth taking advantage of that if you can so uh, Thanks a lot, I've been Jeff Horn. This has been a review of a Saal digital um, professional line photo book series for my uh, boudoir laundry and art nude business. Um, see you soon.